Hello, beautiful people. Anton here from Warhorse Training. I'm here today to just introduce this video a little bit. So this is actually a personalized, tailor-fitted training plan for one of my clients, Aston. He's wanting six-pack abs in 30 days. Now, you cannot go from a barrel to abs in 30 days. The guy's lean. He's probably 12, 14% body fat at the moment. His abs aren't coming into fruition. He's been doing the kickboxing drills with us. He's been doing the HAF sessions. He's been doing the personal training. He's been training at home. His diet's on point. He's hitting keto at the moment with regards to diet, so no carbs, high fat. I'm not gonna basically give you all a free plan, but if this is something you're interested in, drop us a message. You literally get a personalized plan where every day where you can tick it off, mark it up, talk your mood. I'll show you a front cover of it in a minute. So this is just for him, just to see a video of everything that's on there, just to kind of go, okay, what is this movement? I can't remember it. He can gravitate to this. I'm not gonna mention the rep range or the failure or the, or the amount of time on there, but his 30 day ab transformation is coming up soon. Okay guys, so as mentioned, he has got his little workout thing here. I'm gonna try not to, uh, let me just do that. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha, you have no workout. So it comes very much like this. So you've got a little section that says cardio. You've got your days, you've got your time. You've got your mood when you started, which is really important. Your weight, your location, whether you've done it at home, etc., etc. The white boxes you fill in, the gray boxes you don't. You then flick through the perk out. And again, it comes all the way through. You will have little elements on there saying cardio. So this one's got list training, uphill walk, etc. You know, say for instance, this one here. Um, there's nothing on that. What's that? Day one. Oh, that's someone else's. <laughs> there we go. Let's get back to this one. Not someone else's. So five minute dumbbell snatch. So non-stop five minutes. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. Okay, so this is what our plans look like. If that's something you're interested in, uh, please reach out to us, let us know, and um, I'm more than happy to design you one. And for all those haters out there, Black Belt, Third Dan, I can show you my certificates. I ain't got no to prove. So sit-ups with a weight, perfect, and the arms up. Just keep the arms up the whole time, mate, okay? That's it. As you're going up and down. That's better. That's it. Perfect. V hold, arms up, legs up, that's it, hold that V. Okay, perfect, perfect. Then once you've done this, you're gonna grab the weight, keep the same position, but rush and twist the top off. That's it, but rush and twist the top off. That's it, mate. That's it. Abs in 30 days. Only works if you're lean. I expect to go from a barrel to a six pack. Ten leg raises. That's it. Nice. Perfect. Then into flagpole. So with the flagpole, straight up, get your ass off the ground, hold it up in the air if you can. Yeah. That's it. Hold it like that. That's it. That's better. That's the one. That's the flagpole for 30 seconds. Keep it there. That's it. Every minute on the minute, you're going to do two, four, six, eight. Okay. So go straight into two. So two down ups, chest to the ground, chest to the ground, arms off the ground. Okay, so lay on the floor, hands off, yep, and then back up again, and then stand back up again. Okay, so a down up is your chest is on the ground. Okay, do another. So chest on the ground, hands off the ground. That's it, and back up again. Okay, that's a down up. All right, now let's get, wait for the bell, and then when the bell goes, so four dumbbell snatch, so from the middle to the sky, swap the hands, same again. That's two, nice, and again. Nice, and again. Nice, now we're on six down ups. So down up, perfect. You can replace down ups for burpee if you want to, if you don't want to take your hands off the ground. Yeah, no, that's what I was doing. Which is absolutely fine. I prefer that. Okay, once you've done six of those, burpees are absolutely fine. You just want to make sure that chest is on the ground though, mate. That's all yeah. it is, okay? That's it, two more. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, then when the bell goes, we're gonna go straight onto this. Okay, you go for eight of those. That's it, two, three. Pop each time if you can, mate. Four, just do four the other side now. So every time you do these, I want you to swap each side, okay? Otherwise you're gonna get one tired arm. <laughs> Perfect. Um, it's all about impact training. So what I want you to do is arms up in the air, tense your abs as much as you can, okay? So just stand here, okay? And then what I want you to do is get your partner, we're not gonna hit hard, but we get your partner to just hit every so often, okay? And just kind of hit into the abs, into the, the lats, okay, into the obliques. Just for about 30 seconds, okay? And that's what the impact training's gonna do. The form doesn't matter the hit, as so long as you're getting tapping. Kind of think about massage, you've got cupping, you've got chopping, you've got punching, you've got beating, so this is kind of a bit more beating, okay? So you're just essentially like beating a little bit. You don't want to be like bang, bang. I mean, you can later on, but doing this every day, you're gonna feel it, okay? So that's that part. That's it. Nice. So exactly like that, on a bench, corner of furniture, whatever you need to do to get it on, okay? Perfect. Okay, so exactly the same as what we did with the punching. So it's like a massage technique. Legs up in the air. This one's cupping, so you're gonna cup like this. And literally just get your partner to cup. Cup all those muscles, like that motion, okay? So literally, it's a massage technique. So the punching emulates pounding and beating, which is like that in massage and cupping is that okay this is going to help build erythema which is blood to the surface of the skin and the muscles so you'll get redness and it's also going to help stimulate muscle growth okay so it is actually quite important to have an impact day okay so again a lot of people will be thinking that this is fucking crazy we do this in martial arts so with this um, again impact training so you've got your cupping you're punching you're beating this is like next level shit so essentially you want to be tensing those abs whilst your partner will then do a roundhouse to the abs every so often, okay? So just like that, okay? Okay, up and over, up and down, okay? And then obviously the occasional forward kick as well. So literally just kicking into it, okay? So turn more that way so we can get more of the abs. And again, turn again. Up around, like that, okay? Just like that. So get your partner to, if your partner can't round out kick, get a forward kick. Again, if she can't do that, just go back into beating again. But it needs to be harder, this one, okay? Less consistent, so not bang, 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 bang. Bang, nothing. Bang, nothing, okay? Imagine those aniseed balls, these medicine balls. <laughs> Dropping those on someone, like a nine kilogram. That's what it wants to feel like. Nine kilogram medicine ball from here, bang, straight on you. And then you've got quite a long rest before they pick it up and do it again. So incline push up, so it's as many as those as you can do until failure. Yeah, so inclines your chest up, declines your legs up. Okay, straight after that, all the way down, all the way up. Okay. You'd be surprised how many abdominal muscles you use whilst doing other exercises. Straight after that, you're gonna go into a flat plank hold. Nice mate, good, good. And straight into a plank, that's it. Nice, deep, that's a good plank mate. So what we do here at Warhorse Training is slightly different plank. We do a push up hold plank, exactly like this. Like the military do, rather than on your forearms. Much, much better for your core, for your lower back, getting that dip in that lower back. Tighten those glutes and legs up mate, and that's it. And obviously it is, havoc on the arms but we push ourselves into fitness and take that next challenge so bent over dumbbell row you can do it like that perfect absolutely perfect or do them single on a bench okay bring yourself to the bench let's do singles and that's it keep that back nice and straight there you go Perfect. 
So that's what we're doing. So we're hitting the row. Perfect. Straight after the row is the best push up in the world the dive bomber push up. Okay, let's get you into a dive bomber. Perfect. Don't mind me, I'm just going to step across a different angle. That's it. So essentially, it's from downwards dog through push up, don't touch the floor, into a cobra. Absolutely perfect, mate. I'm going to come over this way. This one is five minutes and it's three loads of five minutes and it's squat into knee raise into pilo lunge back into squat nice it's quite consistent it's pretty relentless slow it down keep that balance okay keep that balance that's it so every time you're raising that knee you're contracting those abs every time you're squatting you're working that spinal rectus muscle, as well as obviously your legs and everything else, but you're working on those core stabilizers in those abs. Same with the lunge. It's burning, that's good. So it's five minutes non-stop. I'd recommend a couple of minutes rest each time like we do here. So a minute or two rest and then back on it again, okay? Nice. for this day is going to be five minutes squat and high kick okay it's so nice and high that's it squat again nice and high but you're going to kick alternate legs okay that's it nice you're going to keep that guard the whole time keep that core nice and tight okay make sure that kick is going either straight up or pushing outwards okay Nice. Okay, so with this one, it's flutter, so that's it. Just like that, so you don't need to go all the way up like a leg raise, you just make sure that you're off the ground and your core's tight. Make sure your shoulder blades are off the ground, just like that, which is great. Okay, and that's a flutter. You're gonna do 60 of those, then you're gonna go into scissor kicks. So straight into scissors for us, so cross them over, exactly the same position, and this time it's gonna be for 30 of them, okay? Absolutely perfect. So wipers, legs up, and then drop it to one side. That's it, and drop it over to the other. Exactly like that. Nice. Just like a windscreen wiper, okay? Keeping those legs relatively straight the entire way, okay? Now if that's too hard, bend those knees, turn it into a half wiper, where you're doing this motion. That's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect, mate. Okay. So with these, it's going to be two loads of one minute, non-stop, okay? Bicycle kicks, so legs up. Okay, kick outwards, but like you're on a bike. That's it, like you're on a bike. Exactly like that. Okay, once you've done 12 rounds of those, which that is 12 now, you're going to go into dead bug. Okay? Right, so dead bug, lay flat. Okay, you're going to bring one arm up. One leg up, opposite arm, opposite leg, and touch in the middle. Then back down, then the opposite side. Exactly like that. Perfect. Okay, and you're gonna go for 12 of those. So that's 12 either side. So you can either count to 24, or do one either side, and call it one. So with this one, 10 minutes of mountain climbers, 40 seconds on, non-stop like that, and then 20 seconds rest. That's absolutely perfect. Like you're climbing a mountain, racing up the bank of a hill. Really good, mate, really good. And once you're done 40 seconds, we wait 20 seconds rest. Very good, mate. So with this, it's a minute of stance bouncing, so just forwards and backwards, exactly like that. Okay, and then every so often, we just go switch. That's it, and backwards and forwards, okay? So when you switch, stay in that other stance. So switch, and then stance bounce that way. That's it. Forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Switch. Nice, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Like we do when we do our martial arts. We do our kickboxing, keeping light on those toes. 
Make sure we don't plant those heels, keeping that guard up into Dutch guard and tense those abs. Okay, switch. That's it, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, nice and light, nice and light. Really good, mate. Switch. That's it. Switch. That's better, that's better. Switch. Nice, nice, nice. Once the minute's over, we'll move on to the next one. So next one's down dog for a minute. Heels on the ground, knees pretty much locked out, okay? And then palms on the ground. Stretch the back of those legs. You'll feel a massive stretch on those hammies right on the back of the legs, okay? That's exactly what we want. Perfect. Nice down dog. Okay, I'm gonna hold that for a minute. Straight after that, which you do it now, go into Cobra. Okay, so you're gonna drop those hips, raise those top, exactly like that. Perfect, stay on those toes. Absolutely perfect. Like a Cobra. That's perfect, you're gonna hold that for a minute. Looking good, looking good. Okay, get yourself on your feet. We're gonna stance bounce side to side. That's it for a minute. Keep that Dutch guard nice and tight. Keep those abs nice and tight, lice on those feet. Don't plant those heels like we do when we're doing our martial arts. If anyone wonders why this is exhausting, literally give it a try. Minute on, side to side, minute forward and backwards. Minute stand switching, okay. It's a lot more exhausting than you realize. Do four rounds. So if you want to make this harder, we can put some weights on. Again, keep that Dutch guard, keep those arms up, keep everything nice and tight and switch. That's it. And switch. Perfect, keep that switch. Switch. Perfect. Side to side. That's it, very good. Forwards and backwards. Very good. Switch. Very good. Switch. Switch. Side to side. Forwards and backwards. Perfect. Okay, so this is weighted Russian twists. So with a disc ideally, you can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell, it's fine. But this time, instead of being a V-hold um, Russian twist, it's just regular. So your heels are planted on the ground. You're making that little bend with your body and your knees, tightening that core and just Russian twisting it. Absolutely perfect, mate. Now you also have some cardio on this day, mate. So grab the 22 and a half um, dumbbell. Okay, so floor to overhead. On the way down, you swatch the hand, that's it. Switch the hand, rather. That's it. And make sure you go all the way to the ground, mate. This is a dumbbell snatch, okay? That's it, switch, nice and more fluent, okay? That's it. Nice. So this is your bit of cardio. So it's a five minute AMRAP. It's as many of these as you can get in five minutes. Perfect. Yeah, so with Aston's transformation, this is the gentleman that we've had before. So this is like three month transformation from kind of skinny fat to lean. This is day one of his ab transformation. And it started cutting in and this is day five. Obviously we've not got the finished project yet. He's just started it. This is what we've got. We've got multiple different packages at the moment that you could pick from and enjoy. Obviously one thing that Aston's doing at the moment is he's doing our home workout. He's got a entire personalized tailor fitted plan as i mentioned in the intro he does two three days a week with us and two to three days a week at home his plan's actually five days now um as it's changed into this so yeah if this is something you're interested in guys please just drop us a message um on any platform really or come onto our website and i'm more than happy to come out do a free consultation and then uh, take it from there and start your journey well, let's see how Aston gets on. I will do a before and after photos, guys. So watch this space. Till then, take care and tune in for the next videos.